Hey guys, what's up? If you don't know me, my name is Sarah, and you stumbled upon the most amazing vlog ever. So, this was supposed to be the week where the very first project went up, and this was supposed to be the vlog that Emmy and I were supposed to try Japanese candy. But since the Japanese candy is still over there, um, that hasn't happened yet. And speaking that you didn't see that awesome project I keep talking about, that also is still under construction. And I'm getting on Nina right now about that because it's kind of an issue. Can't really say anything else without spoiling it, even though I'm like 90% positive everybody who watches this already knows what's going on. So yeah. Today's vlog instead will be about how this week I found out I am terrible at origami, but I continue to do it anyways. Now you're probably thinking that this is going to be a really boring and stupid topic, but let me tell you, you're probably wrong because I'm always right. I mean, look at me. I mean, I basically predicted that Highlands was going to win the game against Cuphead, and they did, so that basically makes me superior above everybody. So, I have found out that I am obsessed with origami, but I am actually really bad at it. And sometimes I take it just like a little bit too far. And one day, I created a bunch of pinwheels, and they're legitimately all in this box. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. I don't know why I created them. I just found out that I would like to create a bunch of pinwheels, put a few different quotes on them. That was actually really bad. You couldn't really see the quotes because they're like really shiny and yeah. Like, first off, they have shiny paper. I did not know that you could make origami with shiny paper. I don't know why I didn't know this, but it is possible. And I created pinwheels with shiny paper and then plain paper. That was scary. My, my chair almost fell backwards. Anyways, so as I continue to pull out all these, I realized at some point, as in some point, I mean whenever I realized that I was making way too many pinwheels, that I don't want a bunch of pinwheels in my room. And then I was like, oh, I'll just put them in a box. Well, then I realized I didn't want a box full of pinwheels. So then I came to the conclusion that I would write quotes on them and give them to my friends. Then it hit me. My friends aren't going to want paper in their room. So now I have like a hundred freaking pinwheels that I don't know what to do with. And because I have an issue with just like getting rid of things, I refuse to get rid of paper. I might also have just discovered that I might be a hoarder. But I'm okay with that. I am 100% okay with the fact that I will be making pinwheels for the rest of my life and being lonely and becoming a hoarder. Yeah, that's really depressing actually. Okay, so then I decided that maybe I didn't wanna just make pinwheels. So then I got this like book that came with like the origami stuff and I looked up how, how did I know make things. I made a cute little lantern. Look at that awesomeness. I made a puppy. Oh yeah. Then I made a flower tulip. And then I tried taping it, but it didn't work. So it's supposed to go like that or like that. But the tape didn't. Yeah. Then I made whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Then I made I think this is a wolf. Or right, hold on. Wolf. Also, these do work. Those little like cups that you get, if I legitimately fill this with water, it works. I, I used one a few days ago. Obviously, it, you know, died, so I couldn't show it today. Then I made a pig. Pig. Wink, wink. Then I made, I don't know what this is. And then also, I figured out all by myself how to make one of these. These used to be like the shiz. <laughs> Back when I was like 
three. So now I feel proud of myself. It also, whenever I do this, reminds me of Harry Potter. Yeah. So this vlog, I have made a few discoveries of myself. One, I should probably go to origami rehab. Two, I should probably learn how to just get rid of things that I don't need in my room. Three, why do my friends hang out with me? Like, I am obviously really weird, but I guess you love me, so that counts for something. Four, if you made it to the end of this vlog, I realize how I have great friends and fans and people who watch my stuff. So whoever you are, you rock. And five, I went over the time limit I wanted to go with and I edited it and it just did not work out. So, with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you like it. If you want to subscribe, which I know you do, click that red button. If you have a comment, comment down in the skirt. As always, I will see you next Saturday. Dream on. Bye!